Most of the materials used in this video are available as a kit from Jameco Electronics. I've used LEDs in quite a few different projects. You might think I've probably covered the basic uses, you know, most of them by now, but no, no, there, there's, a, there's a lot more. Take for instance the LED matrix. Best known for its use in advertising and general visual communication, the LED matrix has a bit of a reputation among electronics hobbyists because it's fun to play with. And the concept behind its internal construction is simple. An LED matrix is really just a number of LEDs sharing electrical connections. For example, if I arranged nine LEDs of the same type in a grid and connected their positive leads vertically and negative leads horizontally, I have a 3x3 three three anode column cathode row matrix. Looks simple enough. I think I can even build that without a board. So now, just like in the schematic, we have three positive lead, or anode, columns, and three negative, cathode, rows. If I want to light a particular LED, I just apply positive voltage to its column and ground to its row. But this method only works for controlling one column or row at a time. If I try to light, say, the top left LED, I end up also powering a few others I don't want. Well, to get around that problem, we can use a process called multiplexing, turning each row on and off one after another, and doing it at a fast enough rate that the human eye sees them appearing to be all lit at once. A programmable microcontroller, such as an Arduino board, can easily toggle each column fast enough, but Doing so uses up a whole lot of output pins you'll likely want to keep available for other tasks. Plus, they can't supply enough current to drive the LEDs at full brightness anyway. One solution is to use a dedicated LED driver chip, like the MAX7219 IC. This chip will listen for data sent from the Arduino and multiplex the matrix accordingly at full brightness. I decided to use two of these to control a little bicolor red and green 8x8 matrix. Testing this circuit was <clears throat> a little messy on a breadboard. So I designed and etched a PCB to tidy things up. A much more elegant solution. I hooked up my little Arduino Nano and coded up some example applications. One kind of classic thing to display on a matrix is Conway's Game of Life simulation, an algorithmic simulation of population growth. I added a uh, 
little bit of color toggling and a potentiometer to control the speed. So it's like life at high speed, crazy style. It's like life with salsa or something. And really, nothing says retro like Pong. Bruno Soares wrote this version of Pong for a directly driven uh, LED matrix. I ported it over to the Max 7219 setup here, and it works very well. Thank you for posting your code, Bruno. So, uh, I suppose I'll go think of something practical to do with this. But uh, maybe just one more round of uh, one man pong. In any case, go make something, will ya? It's good for you. To build your own micro pong machine and more, check out the LED matrix kit from jameco.com.